Jamaica, a blessed island with remarkable biodiversity and a rich cultural heritage which feeds our economy. However, there's something about how we do business which is not sustainable and doesn't benefit our natural environment. For too long, we have been focusing on economic growth models imposed by industrialized nations. They benefit economically while developing countries lose out. The negative impacts of the trickle-down economics way of doing business is seen in global climate change, biodiversity, water, health, and on the world's poor. We are in a crisis. Climate change is real. The islands of the Caribbean are vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, which results in higher temperatures, rising sea levels and increased hurricane intensity that threaten lives, property and livelihood throughout the region. It cannot be business as usual. There needs to be a new global economic model which facilitates consistent growth in countries across the world. A global economic model must have as its priorities environmentally sustainability. For example, using less fossil fuel and instead looking to sources such as biomass, solar and wind energy. Equitable economic justice, which is merely reducing agricultural dumping as it affects the livelihood of local farmers. And high levels of human well-being, which is finding responsible ways of conducting business and minimizing the negative health effects. I recommend a green economic model. This model will provide decent jobs and better working conditions. We all aspire to live well, whether we live in Africa, China, the Caribbean, USA, Canada, or Europe. Living well is not determined by location, culture, religion, age, or politics. Businesses should adopt clean tech worldwide and reduce their carbon footprints because if they continue at this rate, there'll be a 50% increase in greenhouse gas emission by 2050. So let us use the green economic strategies to overcome the current economic crisis and make the world a far better place for all its citizens.